Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be going over some new microorganisms I found within the past week, as well as the interactions between the organisms. Let's begin with a new organism I've recently spotted within the ecosphere. This thing is extremely fast and was darting across the tank every time I tried getting a good shot of it. When I was identifying the creature, I faced a roadblock. I was stuck on whether the organism was a damselfly or a mayfly. While in the larva stage, both the damselfly and mayfly look extremely similar, which is where the problem arises from. Damselfly are closely related to the dragonfly, and they have three plate-like tails which in reality are gills located at the tip of its abdomen. The larva enjoys feeding on any organism it can feasibly consume, from other creatures to plants to algae. At first glance, the damselfly and mayfly look extremely similar, but the damselfly is larger and actually has a different tail. Moreover, damselflies swim by moving their abdomens back and forth, while mayfly move their abdomens up and down. The main way I was able to determine that this organism was a mayfly larva, however, was because of the feathery gills along the side of the organism and its three tails. You can actually see that in these videos. The mayfly mostly feed on small plants and are considered as the aquatic cows of water because they frequently graze on algae. In fact, within the video itself, you can see the mayfly larva actually scraping algae into its mouth. When this larva turns into adult, however, it won't live very long. They don't eat anything during their adult life and live between a few hours to a couple of days depending on how lucky they are. In their adult life, mayflies mate, lay eggs, and die. Hopefully I'll be able to capture the transformation and growth of this larva. Of course, how can we forget about the snails? The snails have gotten extremely big, and here's one that's feeding on algae and plants within the ecosphere. As you can see, it's moving towards the coffee pot on the right. The snail, however, doesn't care and will continue moving forward, even if it means that the coffee pot dies. Luckily, the coffee pot does move out the way of the snail.
and for some reason the snail starts digging into the ground almost like it's looking for something and surprisingly it pulls out an extremely large worm this worm is pink in color and is much longer than the snail itself and the worm has bristle like hairs along each segment of its body as you can see this worm didn't enjoy being pulled out of hiding and very quickly goes back into the base of the ecosphere after looking around for a bit the last clip also includes a worm, however, this one is clear and is wiggling vigorously. Then, a coffee pot suddenly bumps into it and the worm disappears. So, over the past week, there have been many developments within the ecosphere. What do you think will happen during week 4? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.